Hey there guys, I hope y'all have an amazing day. I am the Ace of Games and on this channel I open up Yu-Gi-Oh, Buddy Fight, Vanguard, and Beyblade. And for today's video I'm going to be opening up this Buddy Fight Ace trial deck, the N0. So yeah, so this is a trial deck for the, ta for the Time Rulers and all that. Here's the list of cards and so yeah, so let's get into the opening. Hopefully y'all will enjoy today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to ring the bell. Start off with the with this. Got a little promo pack. I'll get to that in a second. But here's the playmat that you get. And then here on the back, it kind of gives you an idea on how to play in all the on how to play the deck and all that. Here's kind of a little rule book. Here's kind of a little rule book thing. Kind of like telling you how the game works and all that. And a little comic on the back showing how showing how the game works also. And then here is the life point counter that you get. Alright, so here is the promo pack. You get two cards. Here is the uh, mediator of Prosperity and uh, Avantis uh, Riek Empress, I think is how you say that. And then here is Buddy Fighters Without Limits. So this is pretty cool. This is a Dragon World and Star Dragon World card. And I, and I like how you how there's Gao and... Uh, wow, I can't believe it. Um, give me a sec, I just... I literally forgot his name for some reason. Um... I'm, it's so bothering. I literally cannot remember right now, but I'm going to read off what it does. Um, you may use this card with all flags. Uh, when this card is dropped from your hand by your opponent's card effect, draw two cards, and for this turn, you, your hand your hand cards cannot be d dropped by your opponent's card effects. Counter, choose and use one of the following two. You gain three life points. Um, for this turn, a monster on your field gets critical plus two. So that's pretty... So that's pretty useful. So I think so I think that's really cool because I like this design and I do think it kind of stinks that buddy fight that the buddy fight show isn't continuing on because it would have been kind of cool to see uh, Gal back in the show. And that's really gonna bother me. I hopefully by the end hopefully by the end of the video I will remember his name. Um, but yeah. So let's move on to the let's move on to the deck. So first up you get Eon Reigning Deity Time Ruler Dragon. So you so here's four so here's four copy. So here's four copies of that. There's a fifth one. There should be a fifth one in here, I th I believe. Which is the buddy version. Here it is. Here it is. It's the and this one. This trial deck's pretty cool because you actually get a Buddy Rare version of it. So there's the full Buddy Rare version in it. Um, so it has it's a size three monster with eight thousand attack and eight thousand defense, a critical of two, and it's a drag god. You may use this card with all flags. Uh, the call cost pay two gauge and put the t and put the top two cards of your deck into its soul. Uh, Wine Kronos. At the start of your turn, you may put a card from your drop zone into this card's soul until until two cards are in, are in its soul. Uh, when this card attacks, no file abilities of up to one card on your opponent's field and put it on the bottom of the opponent's deck. And it has double attack and soul guards. So that's pretty cool. So I do like that you get a buddy rare version of it. So that's pretty cool. And here we have Time General... Uh, uh, Tabo Tabocus. So it seems you got there's one of him, I think, or I think there's two. There's either one or two of him. Let me see if there's a there is possibly another one. So yeah, there is another one here. There's like a foil version. So you're getting two of him. 
uh, time general, uh, uh, scripty. There's two, there's three of him, but let me see if there's a fourth one. There is not, so it's just so it's just these three. So that's pretty cool, and that's all your that's all the size three monsters. Uh, Time Soldier, uh, Luca. You have three. Uh, there's three of him. Let me just check to make sure there's not a fourth one. There is not. So do you only so you do get three of him. Uh, Time Observer, uh, Pakora. There's three of him. Also gonna make sure that there isn't like a fourth one. There is not, so you're only getting three of him. And then here we have Time Observer uh, Otho uh, or Orcho or something like that. There's one of him. But let's just see if there is a second one. And there is. Getting a foil version. So you're getting two of him. Time Soldier, uh, Spiger. Make sure there, let's see if it's just him, just one of him or if there's two. You're getting two and this is the foil version. And then here we have Time Guardian, Marlo. There's one of him, but I think there is a, yes, there is a second one. So yeah, so you're getting two, so there's two of him. And then here you have four Time Soldier, uh, G. Bello. That's got a pretty, he's got a pretty cool design, I think. Getting four of him. And then Time Scout, uh, Bull. Here's the, here's a third one of him. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Time Scout, Gari. There's three of him. Let's see if there's a fourth. No, there is not. So that is all the monsters. Uh, Chron Chronos Trophy. There's two of this. Let's just see. There is not a third one. Uh, Chronos uh, Bonte Arge. I think that's how you say that. Let's see if there's a second one. You do. You get a f another a foil version of it. Uh, Chronos Sign uh, Epitha. I think. And this is like the man. This is like the user of the, of this of the time ruler deck and all that. You get a third one. So you get three of those, and then we have Kronos, uh, Nebi. I think there's two of this. Let's see. Yes, you get a third one. So you get three of these, and then we have Kronos, uh, Perer. There's two of these, and this is the final hollow. So. You're getting three of these, well, three of these, and then here we have uh, Kronos, um, Amina. So you're getting four of those, and if you haven't noticed, like with this deck, um, it has different all the kind of like all the different worlds. There was Danger World, Magic World, Ancient World, Dungeon World, Dragon World. So yeah, and then here is the impact uh, Kronos defeat. You're getting two of the two of these. And then here is the flag. So this is like, so this is, um, so this is kind of weird because you have four flag cards here. So pretty much it goes like this. The flag goes like this. They all completely connect together to create one big flag. Like that. So each one for completely connects together and I'm gonna read off their effects. Uh, so here is clock one. Uh, start the fight with this. Start the side fight with this uh, with this side of the card. Counter. Um, uh, Hore domination. You may put a a hand card on the on the bottom of your deck and reveal. Flip over this card. If you do, look at the top three cards of your deck. Put up to one from among them into your hand and drop the rest. You may only use Hore dom domination once per turn. And what it means by flip over is that you get to flip it over here. And so basically after you do that, you get to flip this one over. And here is uh, clock two. Uh, start the flag with this, uh, with this side of the card. Uh, 
RA domination, I think is how you say is how you say that. Uh, you may put a hand card on the bottom of your deck and rev and reversal flip over this card. If you do draw a card and if, and if there are any cards in the bat in battle, end the battle. You may only use hor uh, Hore domination once per turn. So this is clock two, and then once you do that, you get to flip it over, and then if and then it connects again, and then here is clock three. Start the fight with this side of this card. Counter. Uh, Horror Domination. Choose a Time Dragon monster in your drop zone. You may put a hand card on the bottom of your deck and reversal. Flip over this card. If you do call the chosen card by paying its call cost, you may only use this. Uh, use Horror Domination once per turn. And then once you do that, you get to flip it over. And then here's the final one, which is God Clock. Um, put one put one clock one clock two and clock three with this card and start the fight with this side of the field you may use time dragon cards and your flag cannot be flipped face down by your opponent's card effects at the end of your opponent's turn if three of your flags are in reversal you may put a monster with time ruler and its card name from your field or hand into the drops and if you do reversal flip this card you can flip this card over and then you flip it over and then basically you get this you get a full, you get a flag that actually turns into a monster, into an item, basically. So this is basically what you get. It's a, so this flag has 12,000 attack, 12,000 defense, and a critical of four. And it looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. So the abilities are here. Um, all your flag... All your flags in reversal become one flag. You may use time time dragon cards. Uh, this card is treated as a card on your field. It cannot be destroyed. Leave the f uh, leave the flag area, and its ability cannot be nullified. And it cannot be flipped face down by your opponent's card effects. And it can attack even if you have a monster on your center. So that means that this thing that this thing is pretty overpowering. And its full name is uh, Perfect Deity of Eons, the End Ruler Dragon. That's a pretty spooky name. And then here's the, here's kind of the rest of its uh, Eternal Eon. When this card attacks along, attacks alone for this battle, stop the time, stop the time of your opponent, all of your opponent's cards. Your opponent cannot counter against this ability. So card abilities cannot be declared, uh, card abilities cannot be declared and used in stop time and keyword ability cannot be used a player in stop in stop time cannot declare and use any card and abilities and it has triple attack so this so once you get this flag fully flipped over uh it's pretty it's pretty overpowering sorry there's like a fly so say so, but yeah like when you get it fully flipped over basically um you're basically not it's basically going to be pretty hard because your opponent will have to is more is obviously gonna have to break through the defense to deal. I'm pretty sure it's gonna have to break through the defense in order to deal damage to you. So that makes it. So that makes the. So that's gonna make the battle even harder. So, so yeah. So I mean, with this deck, like if you're if you can get like these all four of these flipped pretty quick quickly, you are not. It is gonna be pretty hard for you to to lose the battle. Um. I th I think his name is uh I cannot remember so so I'll probably I'm more I'll know or remember and I'll put his name in the and I'll put his name in when I for when I first open that up since I can't remember right now but yeah hope you all enjoyed today's video be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you all next time thanks for watching.